Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. And last time we went over materialize as we're going through all these different CSS frameworks. In this video, I wanna go through two of them because they're really simple. The idea behind these frameworks is just to give you just the basics. Um, so that way you can then build out your own CSS from there, but that way you don't have to worry about very basic stuff. So the first one we're gonna talk about is skeleton. Okay. Although I just searched for skeleton, so that's not going to be very helpful. Skeleton CSS. Okay, and it's just a, basically a CSS boilerplate. I want the CDN, so which I don't think is on their actual website. So I'm going to type in skeleton.css.cdn. Okay, let's go here. And a lot of these minimalist ones, you don't have to know too many classes. It just kind of does a lot of the basic spacing and stuff for you. So I'm gonna copy this, just replace all this with that. So this is all the stuff from Materialize. Okay. Save. Let me see how our thing is doing. Okay, you can see like the, so it has some nice initial button styling. I didn't have to do anything special to do that. Um, fonts, colors, not bad. And again, just there's, there's stuff you can specify. You just read the skeleton documentation. But the idea behind is like skeleton. Actually, I'll be going over three: milligram, skeleton, and pure. They just offer you really good, a really good starting place. So let's try pure CSS. You know, just what you get right out of the box without having to apply any particular classes or styles. Okay. Um, which one do I want? Let's just do base. Mm. Copy link tag. Copy that over this. Oh, not over jQuery. Save. Now let's see what the changes look like. Okay, we don't see too much change yet. We might have to do some more styling there. So let's go head over to pure CSS and take a look at the documentation. Okay, let's get started. Do, 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 do. Okay, I will for buttons. Buttons, we click on buttons. And yeah, here you, you do have classes you gotta apply. So if I want the buttons, I want the attach pure button. Just change one of them, just to illustrate the point. But again, it's, it's, it's a fairly minimal framework. The idea here is you can do allow you to customize a lot more yourself. Okay. Pure button. Let me recopy the CDN in case that's the issue. So let's go back to get started. Copy the CDN here. Copy. And up here. Replace the CDN link. Let's take a look at our, and there you go. So you can see like little button. Again, each of them offers their own nice little flavor. And you can, again, they always show you examples of what you can create. So like this is an example of like their columns. That's a great thing about CSS frameworks. are pretty easy to see what you get. And the last one I'll show you is milligram. Milligram is one of my favorites because you'd have to do nothing. There's no, there's no, literally no, it's literally as minimalist as you can get. There's no classes. It just offers a very opinionated default style, and then you build your CSS on top of it. So if I copy the link tag here for milligram, and stick that there. Okay. Okay. 
take a look and you see like everything kind of changes the buttons are already styled everything is styled kind of in a very nice way and I didn't have to do absolutely anything um, of course I mean things don't just magically look perfect because you still have the CSS style sheet you have to still think about how you're going to design your page and structure your containers and whatnot but these frameworks definitely give you something to start with so you, know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. And if there's styles that you use a whole lot, you know, it doesn't hurt for you to create your own little mini framework for yourself that has all the basics that you usually use so that way you can just focus on layout and things like that. So my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Have a great day and enjoy.